Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use LibreOffice Calc to perform simple linear regression with something akin to the analysis tool pack that you find in Excel or Excel Miner that you find in Google Sheets. So what we're going to be using is under the data and it's called statistics. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to see a lot of the similar statistical functionalities that you find in those add-ins under those two applications I mentioned here in Libra. So you have regression, which is obviously the one we're going to be using, but you also have ANOVA, sampling, descriptive statistics, a lot of these things that you found in those applications. So let's go ahead and pick regression because this is where we're going to be able to do multiple, simple, and other forms of regression. The basic things you need to provide are the X values. So I'm gonna, I just generically called my data X and Y, so it's clear that my dependent variable is this guy. In your situation, you need to figure out which one is your dependent variable, which one you're trying to predict, in other words. Since I took the labels, I'm gonna check that, and I'm gonna tell it to put the output somewhere close by and uh, you can go ahead and um, just leave everything else as is if you like uh, there's going to be more output that i'm going to analyze here i'm going to stick with the basics so let's go ahead hit ok and we get all the output that you would be that you're used to seeing and, and actually a little bit more i'm going to zoom out a little bit and i'm going to highlight some of the more important things here's that i want to talk about R square, here's the P value for the overall F test. Here's the P value for the individual T test. Here are the regression coefficients, the intercept, I should highlight that, and the um, B0 and B1, in other words, the intercept and the slope. So these are the values I want to talk about. And I basically want to just, uh, don't want to spend too much time actually talking about them, but more show you where to find them. If you don't like the scientific notation here, you can go ahead and click here and then add or subtract um, decimal places. So in our case, we're gonna add a bunch of decimal places. And likewise here, add a bunch of decimal places. Again, that was scientific notation um, used to show numbers that have either, that are either very small or very large. So this shouldn't look too unfamiliar to you. There are some extra things here and there. You don't need to concern yourself too much with those for the moment, but you have your ANOVA table here with your overall P uh, F test P value. You have your regression coefficients, arguably the most important two items. There's B0 and B1, your intercept and your slope. And you have your um, coefficient of determination, okay? The last thing I want to show you is how to make a scatter plot and add this regression line to that scatter plot. Okay, so how to insert a chart is very simple. I'm going to go insert chart. We're going to pick XY scatter and we're going to pick the very first one. Be careful, these other ones will give you mixed results. So XY scatter, you're going to go ahead and finish. And oftentimes it won't even suggest anything to you which is great. Just pull this guy um, to the side here. What we're going to do is right click and select data ranges. And this is where we're going to feed the data. We're going to just add a series. You don't have to worry about naming it. Click on it. Disengages the data ranges. So we're going to forget about the name X values clearly. Those are going to be our X values. So we're going to click in range. Pay attention to these, the way I'm doing this because it's a little different than the way you move through uh, Excel, for example. But you can easily figure it out. I'm going to select all the X values. The data labels, you can, you can uh, sorry, I shouldn't have taken the first row, which had the label. You can call this, you can, you can select the data label as well. Okay, then we go over to Y values. Just take the values, make sure you get them all. And the label is in that first row. Click OK. Make sure you get those the X and the Y correct. 
once we do this. Once we do this, we get our chart. Well, it looks like we didn't get a chart because when I moved it around, I must have um, minimized the chart area. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this little guy here. Be careful with this. This, this is just a little quirky. Pull this over and then you'll start seeing the chart. That happened when I moved my chart around. So here I'm going to just expand this as much as I can here. And then you're going to see our scatter plot. In fact, I maybe went a little bit more. The legend is not really necessary here because we only have one series. So let's go ahead and delete that. And here's our scatter plot. You can resize this and make it square if you like. Make, make it a little bigger, make it a little smaller. Um, pull it over to the side. So there's the scatter plot. Um, maybe we should have started with a scatter plot, but um, either way, I'm just teaching you how to create these things in this new application. Um, you could clearly see there was a positive linear pattern here between these two variables that we're looking at, uh, generically called X and Y. Now I want to plot the line that we just, um, here we are, the line that we just figured out here from the uh, least squares regression. So how do I do that? Very simple. I click on the points, right click, okay, engage those points. Once you've engaged those points uh, collectively, right click on them and say add or insert mean value line. And actually the trend line is what you're going to ask for. You can change the width of it, etc., the color. Um, okay. And there is our least squares regression line plotted on top of our scatter plot. Here is all the regression output that you're used to getting with those other two applications maybe you were using before. Again, LibreOffice is free. The particular application in the suite that you want to use is called Calc. And the functionality that we needed to do all this regression was under Data Statistics. For us, we were doing simple linear regression, so we chose regression. For the chart, we go to Insert Chart and we picked the XY, the very first type, okay? All right, so I hope this was helpful. Um, if you're having issues with any of these other applications, this is a free choice uh, as a backup backup. All right, till next time, have a great day. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Jalea Academy.